Ah, God bless you. <laughs> now, despite all the shenanigans that went on earlier this evening, I'm sad to tell you that the song for Europe has not been won by the one with the big floppy tits and the Cockney accent. <laughs> so, bad luck, Julian Dix. <laughs> anyway, for our late night viewers, we've got a special edition of Song for Europe. So to explain all the David Linnigans that are going on tonight, could you please welcome our judges, the Hill Brothers. <laughs> Jimmy, I can see that being on the word last Friday night had quite an influence on you, huh? I suppose you're into all that bloody dreadful dance music now. No, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. There's no limits! <laughs> yes. Anyway, and uh, who are you? <laughs> uh, alternative comedy. <laughs> now, Jimmy, there's all sorts of Joe Corrigans going on here tonight. Maybe you'd like to explain. Uh, well, uh, Terry, respect. <laughs> As I told you on the word last Friday. Ah, no, 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 you've got the wrong Terry. That's the Terry that goes, All ah, right, you're right now. <laughs> no, I'm the Terry that goes, Hara, sab, hara, hara, ha. <laughs> oh, yes. Safe. <laughs> well, the thing is, Terry, what we're doing is a late entry for a song for Europe by two teams that are still in Europe. It's sort of a thin idea, uh, based mainly on the word Europe. Well, it sounds shit. <laughs> a right old pile of shit anagrams. <laughs> yes, it does. But let's give it a go anyway. Right. Now, to complete the panel of judges, would you please welcome, all the way from Italy, Lombardo. <laughs> Your Arsenal have got no chance. <laughs> Gentlemen, would you please take your seats? <laughs> so first, the Chelsea entry. Steen, Spencer and Wise are together. What do you make of that? Well, Terry, uh, speaking seriously for a moment, I'm not even sure that Chelsea should be in Europe. I mean, I was at the Bruges game, and when the Belgians scored, some of the Chelsea fans did turn a bit ugly. Really? Yes. Look at this. <laughs> Saints preserve us. Now, let's look at the Arsenal entry. A big club needs a big name, and as stars go, they don't come any bigger or brighter than Steve Morrow. I'm on the top of the world, looking down on creation and... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> well, a bit of a mishap there, I think. I've had enough of this, sir. This is stupid. It was bad enough when you made me dress like Mystic Mag. I don't look anything like Benny Hill. Well, well I... I don't know about that. And he isn't even anything to do with football. It's just because he's called Hill. You might as well have had Graham Hill, the racing driver. Jamie and Graham Hill can't believe that that would ever happen. Jim and Graham Hill, I just can't imagine what they do. Would they yeah, do something? All right, so mate, all right, you've made your point. Oh. I don't know, Jimmy and Graham Hill sounds like a good idea to me. Uh, we are the rock, rock. <laughs> Famous TV sports and all the girls love me They think I'm attractive, they think I'm attractive Because I'm very active with a rock, 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 rock We're the greatest TV sportsman of the year Well, that is just going to be watching away to the moment Come on, Dixie! Steve, go and get the ball! Unbelievable! 
and welcome to Fantasy Football League. <laughs> this, this, far too much. <laughs> this week we'll be recreating one of the most famous cup final goals of all time. And we'll be saying a big hello to Wilf Mannion. Hello, I'm Wilf Mannion. Hello! hello! Good old Wilf. But first, a few things we noticed from watching football this week. Now, at a time when the game is suffering from one scandal after the next, the FA have hit back by opening a massive exhibition which celebrates all that is good and decent in English football. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's the it. That's it. Just that. I'd go. But Lancaster Gate was then rocked by allegations that to please Littlewoods, they have rigged <laughs> the semi-final draw in order to leave open the possibility of a glamorous Man United Tottenham Cup final. That concludes the draw. All right, check in the we, post. Yeah. <laughs> Goodness, scandal. And there were some worried faces at Everton when they realised that the famous detective Miss Marple was investigating the club's affairs. But the fact is that whatever happens off the pitch, the game will always carry on regardless. Despite problems in the past, it's nice to see that Maradona still has a good relationship with the Argentine fans. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Diego, sticking his hand in the air again. Good to see. He could have been doing one of those plate spinning things that just. He could have been doing that. Stato. Well, now it's time for my news round. <laughs> Blank weekend fixture-wise, but a few midweek games to factor in as we look at the latest positions in the BBC Two Fancy League. No change at the top. Patsy's opened up a six-point advantage thanks to this strike from Newcastle's Paul Kitson. Nick Hornby maintains his hot streak. Clean sheets from Irwin and Bruce take the follically challenged one up to second place. Most of Frank's team were inactive, but at least Peter Schmeichel's clean sheet was something to shout about as my flatmate tucks in to third. Mean defence and a goal from Forest Golden Boy Stan Collymore rocket tonight's guest Parker up to fifth. You really got me now. You got Joe Brand's bad boys keep her suspended above the bottom two. An assist from nose munching gourmet Vinnie Jones brought up her hundredth point of the year. Delia Smith's lack of points sees the Norwich Nosh provider firmly rooted at the bottom. Sadly, rumours of her impending departure are true. Right. Delia is finally destined for the chopping board. Delia's gone then, Seto. Yep, Delia's gone. Bottom seven points adrift. No points last week. Hasn't really had any assists this season. Only 11, 20 goals. Hasn't really had assist this season. No, 87 points, seven off the bottom. Had to go, really. Right. <laughs> we'll take that as a yes. Correct. <laughs> Speaking of uh, management, not many people know this, but Jerry Francis in has invented a new game called Spot the Interviewer. Here's Jerry. Where's the interviewer? He's on the right or the. No, I'm over. Jerry on. Is he. <laughs> Jerry, is, is he running a... Oh, Jerry, calm down! Oh, my God. Yeah, actually, I reckon he's been playing Spot the Interviewer too long, and now he's just completely lost control of his head. Sometimes he has to hold on to his ear to keep it still. Oh! <laughs> it's flying off. He's going to start wobbling in a minute. The head... Oh, he's just held on. Now, they even tried gluing his nose to a white post in the dugout, but he still broke loose. <laughs> oh, no, he's, he's off. off. Okay. There he goes. Jerry! <laughs> Jerry was recently offered the job of managing Sheffield Wednesday, but turned it down because he thought the club mascot was taking the piss. <laughs> of course, uh, hey. Of course, you know what turns my head? What? The Wednesday score again and everybody in Sheffield give each other a pocket knife. <laughs> That's a sort of regional stereotype, isn't it? 
that's based is, on if that. If it had been West Ham score again and everyone gives each other a Stanley knife, mm. that would have been another regional stereo. Is that the doorbell? That's a bit scary, isn't it? Mm. Not really. Good Lord! It's Joe Brand, Phil Daniels, and Damon from Blur! Yeah, Good! Yeah. 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 Oh dear, well, welcome. Now, uh, Joe, of course, you're a regular manager on Fancy League, but uh, what are you two doing here? I think we're taking over from uh, Delia as oh, a management know. team. And, uh, <laughs> what, just because you're really hard? Yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> we're too frightened to say anything about that's that. That's it. Right, well, I don't Chelsea. think we had much choice. Right. We sort of arrived and, you know... You were given it. We were we given, were given Delia, De Delia's She's very prob upset. problem team. So, I mean, I don't know if you're aware, you know, taking over a, a, a fantasy league team is quite, it is quite a big step. I mean, it, we, we give most of our lives to it. Well, there's not many players to choose from left, really, uh, so we've got a lot of work to do. What, you, you're not happy with Delia's team? No, we're not happy. It's a dreadful team. Yeah. yeah. Well, you, oh, could, you could take advice from Joe, who recently bought Eric Cantona. I did. <laughs> I, well, I thought he fitted in rather well with the rest of the team. Did you watch the yeah, Did you watch the England game last night? I did. I did. Um, well, I saw, I saw. I was watching it, and then I. You dozed well, off. I, I should say. Sorry, you did. John Barnes. You didn't see it, did you? No. So I'll, I'll, he's quite you? handsome, though, isn't he? Oh, he's quite handsome. I would. Yes. If you'd let me. You would what? <laughs> well, I would. Yeah. Mm. What about it as well? What about so you, would Phil? I. <laughs> Come John on! <laughs> yeah, John Barnes, would you? I didn't think he played well. No, he didn't play very well. No. no he, had a, he had his standard four out of ten for England. Yeah. And uh, the thing, one thing about John Barnes people don't know is that um, he was going to go to Newcastle at one stage, but they turned him down after he insisted on designing his own kit. Um, John Barnes <laughs> scored my goal. <laughs> Every time I score with my head, they say a, a rare-headed goal by John Barnes, so... Yeah, I don't know if you noticed there that John Barnes is going on about the fact that people think he can't head the ball. And he's really touchy about this, right? He's so keen to prove them wrong, he started heading the ball in all sorts of stupid situations. Look at this. <laughs> John, John, it's all right to kick it sometimes, mate. That's OK. He actually trapped the ball with his head there, didn't he? That's a brilliant thing. You didn't see him take a penalty. I don't think he was actually going for the ball at all. I think he just... Fall he was just fell over. over and ball happened to be there yeah. at the right moment. He probably nodded off as well. <laughs> Shouldn't be a surprise. Yeah. So what do you think you can bring to Delia's team to lift it from the bottom? Well, we're bottom in the league. I mean, what can we do, really? So you're going to buy, buy, buy? Yeah, we're going for a few Wimbledon boys, I think. What, just, really? What? Well, just to get the ball up the other end of the field. <laughs> you know. Yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> All right, tell you what, we're going to have a short consultation now about whether or not you two decide, right? should get the job of managing the kitchen rangers, all right? OK, here we go. <laughs> not that good in scum. <laughs> well, see the one in the greenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer Oasis myself, really. <laughs> Never like Londoners. <laughs> <laughs> Might get a shag from Justine out of Elastica. <laughs> <laughs> Might get a shag out of Justine Fashionu. <laughs> OK, you've got it. OK. Right. Let's have Thank a look at your team. It. Let's have a look at it. There it is. That's, that's what you've inherited, boys. Bobby Gold in goal. <laughs> I'm going to put Glenn Hoddle in the team. Yeah? Right. They don't play. Yeah. Anyone? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that should do it. That should do it. Then. I, mean, I thought that well, was theory about Hoddle. Yeah, it's few games. Tell us your theory. Well, I think he's going to play a lot and just going to be. He's going to do good for us. Yeah, <laughs> I'm not sure he is actually, but I'll take your word for it, David. You think yeah, Glenn's our team, isn't it? It's yeah, like so you can do what you like. Yeah. Yeah. Have <laughs> 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 yeah. you got Eddie Newton in as well? Well, I don't Chelsea. agree with that. That's. That's Phil's choice. I yeah, I don't agree with that either. No. Why have you got Eddie Newton in? Well, because there's no one else left, is there? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Felt me on Eddie Newton's gravestone, I think, there was no one else left. <laughs> Keown of Arsenal we brought in. He never plays. Yeah, from Arsenal. Well, that's it, you don't lose any points. Have that you way, seen Arsenal? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's sly. Do you think there's any chance of Cap 
catching you at all? Because uh, you're about third from bottom. I right? am. Yeah. Doing rather well with the thugs, aren't yeah. I? Yeah. You are, actually. Yeah. 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 I think so you're you just pick them down. whether or not they go to jail. You, you think I'm going to go down? Yeah. Any time, Damon. Anyway, you're going to stick with Mark Bright, which is probably a, a good idea. <laughs> well, I brought uh, Rod Wallace in. Have you? Yeah. You're mad, I mean, you are. Because he's small. <laughs> we like him small. And yeah. Chelsea. Home. <laughs> when, when, when Mark Bright left uh, Crystal Palace, there was a lot of resentment, you know. Even the, uh, the Crystal Palace eagle was very pissed off with him. There's the eagle, though. <laughs> but um, <laughs> next time he flew over Hillsbury, he got his own back. <laughs> oh. Hello, Parker. Hello, good evening. How are you? Oh, well, How thanks. are you? Oh, I'm not too bad, not too bad. No, Sato, take Parker's umbrella for him. Thank you very much. It's bad luck indoors, apparently. Oh, there we go. <laughs> have you been to see um, have you been to see Tottenham recently or as they're now known the England team? <laughs> <laughs> well I had a terrible shock the other day because Lady Penelope dropped a bombshell. She told me she was a Arsenal supporter. Oh, oh my god. Yeah. I said, but Lady, you've got everything to live for. Don't throw it all away. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I was looking for a pub, but there wasn't one. <laughs> no, it's, coming. it's coming later, Mr. Bladderall. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, let's have a look at your team. All right. There it is. Yeah. Great strike force. Foy along and Cantona. <laughs> Brilliant. Yeah. You've been the kiss of death to a lot of these players, really. Haven't I just? It's been great, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I know, I've enjoyed myself immensely. So we could do a bit of transfer in here. If you, if, if you see anyone in Joe's team who you fancy, you know, you could be put in a big money bid, and who knows? Well, Vinnie Jones is quite an attractive proposition. Actually, Vinnie Jones, you know, Vinnie, Vinnie Jones is famously involved in that incident where he bit off that in interviewer's nose. But what a lot of people don't know is that during the interview beforehand, that interview was deliberately trying to wind him up. <laughs> That's, that's his provocation. Yeah. Total provocation. But did he actually bite his nose off, or I think did he, he just bit bite it? What? Well, it'd be all right if he just bit it. Yeah, it wouldn't be quite so bad. I don't know if he, I don't know, he just... when you're peckish, you're peckish. You know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> I think he bit a large chunk of it out. Of course, he's a Welsh international now. What is? He's a oh, Welsh Vinnie international. Is. What do you mean, oh. what is? Sorry, I thought you meant the, <laughs> the nose. <laughs> I should hit Mike Smith's job, it could probably do better. But apart from that, I can't see it plain. No. I wouldn't pick it. <laughs> I wouldn't pick it! <laughs> oh, how did we ever get to a joke in the middle of what looked like a comedy like cul-de-sac? Yeah, and there. then there was one right. waiting at the yeah. end. I, I did enjoy that. <laughs> so do you, do you actually, I mean, apart from just getting thugs in, do you watch the results and hope your team's going to do well? At all? No. No. OK. Um, yeah, well, I see how they're doing. I get a bit depressed if they've done well, you yeah. know, because I did want to come bottom. Mm. And, um, and then, unfortunately, who is it? Sean Bean, isn't it? Who's, no, it's uh, Delia's bottom, and now these two are bottom. Yeah, but there's, I'm third from bottom, uh, so there's someone else. You haven't given us a name yet. It's up to you, really. Well, we've got a name. Oh, yeah. What is it? You've, you've got, got a name. name. No, you've got a name. It's not my name. It's your name. No, mate. Are you flattering on Alan? This is not a very good sign for your yeah. partnership, is it, really? So, come on, what's the yeah, name? Yeah, come out with it. Don't be frightened. What? Don't be frightened. It's, it's his name. It's well, Phil Daniels. Name, That's not right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that what, what is it? He don't want to say it. Because right, you can say it better than me. I can't say it better than you. <laughs> we want your job. <laughs> you said I could do a song. Yeah. Okay. You're not going to say it? I'll go on, just Go say on, it. Phil. As, as a, you're a straight actor, and there aren't many of them about. Real <laughs> Muppet. Real <laughs> Muppet. Real Muppet. Right? Yeah. You're right, right, it was shit. It was shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's all right. Real Muppet's we'll all right. We'll have that. Yeah. Yeah, Real Muppet, so uh, that'll be very good. <laughs> Parker, let's have, oh, let's yes. have a good team. Yes. Hello, Parker. Well, we're doing all right. I'm fifth. Yeah, you yes, I think I'm going to leapfrog over Mr. Anson next week because I think his team selection is a bit naive, tactically. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he'll, he'll have you for saying that. 
Who are your stars? Colin Moore's got, what, 38? Colin Moore's doing nicely. Uh, Babby and Pallister doing all right. Yeah. And I made this inspired by this uh, Ed Love, and he goes out to Hanfield and he cops a hat trick. Mr. Ed Love, yeah. Well, yeah, Ed, Ed Love. Love. Sorry, Damon's starting to read the paper, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's enemy, so that's because you're in it. I'm not in it, actually. You're not in it? Am I in it? In it? Uh. Yeah, what sort of music do you like, Parker? Uh, well, I like uh, I like uh, I like uh, this Damon bloke because he wrote this song for me, Parker Life. Peter and Love, as you say, is in your team, and that's right. A lot of footballers doing adverts at the moment. Les Ferdinand, Gary Lineker, yeah. and Peter and Love's actually done an advert as well. Silly of chicken tonight to have that big McDonald's sign there. That, that was a very mad word, but it has made me feel a bit peckish just watching him. <laughs> <laughs> well, I bought the head love because Paulie Rideout was carrying an injury. Yeah. I'm carrying an injury myself, actually. Are you? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going through a midlife change of strings crisis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a bit of a bastard. Who else have you got? <laughs> Oh, you got Vinnie Samways. That yeah. was a bit of a that was a bit rash, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, Vinnie Samways. Well, I wanted to strengthen the midfield, you see, because they were a bit back when it coming forward. They weren't sticking them away. We've got a shot of actually. We've got a shot of Vinnie Samways uh, in in the stand. Yeah, that's Vinnie. Hello. And uh, hello, Vinnie. And here's a shot of Vinnie Samways in the Bass Street Kids. There he is. <laughs> in goal. That's probably, Wilf, so. isn't it? Eh? Hey? That's Wilf. Is he? Yeah. Now that's the bloke of gladiators, isn't he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. And now... Oh! You all right? <laughs> I was a bit surprised there. Is it that time already? Who started whistling? Getting a bit bored. Dave, are you, are you a bit bored now? Um... You weren't like this on Give Us A Clue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Lionel Blue. I'm <laughs> <laughs> oh, so sorry. Is he up for sale? <laughs> and now, Felix from the Flames. This week, Ozzy Ardilis' best mate. So, Ricky Villa. Now, we're here to recreate the Actually, goal. Actually, have you ever noticed that, Ricky? Your second name, it, it's Villa. You know, like the football team. It's good, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's like Alan Sunderland or Bobby Charlton. Yes, and Clive Everton. No, no, Clive Everton was a snooker commentator. Oh, yes? Anyway, Ricky, we're here to recreate the winning goal you scored for Tottenham in the 1981 FA Cup final replay. Hey, Tony Blackburn. Where? No, Tony Blackburn. Oh, uh, Blackburn. Okay. Terence Trent Derby. <laughs> yeah, OK, well, never mind that now. When you decided to, to come to England, what made you choose Tottenham? Because I'm very, very keen to work with Chess and Dave. That Aussie's dream, Chas and Dave at their best. No, as good as snooker loopy. Mm. Mm, maybe. Anyway, let's get back to the cup final. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you remember about that, Dave? Michael Bolton. Really? Was he that? <laughs> no, Michael Bolton. <laughs> yeah, anyway, look, the teams went out onto the pitch, right? And they're making history, John Bond and Keith Birkinshaw. Never before have two managers walked out in a Wembley FA Cup final replay. Let me see, Mr. Burkison. I get the ball and I beat one Manchester City player and another. <laughs> Who are you? My name is Bond. John Bond. <laughs> ah, Mr. Bond, we've been expecting you. Yeah? I know what you're up to, Birkinshaw. You and your hired foreign henchmen. But you haven't allowed for my secret weapon. What's that? The dad out of bread. <laughs> Norwich Matt Walter. Burnley Winters. Look, can we get on? <laughs> Ricky, tell us about your goal. Well, it's, uh, it's Choo Choo draw and uh, Tony Galvin get the ball for the left, left side and run. And after pass me the ball and I see many people in front and I start past the people and, I, and see the goal and, and, and score it. He scored! Amazing goal! 
Okay then, well, we'll be the Man City defence and you be Ricky Villa. Play Jod Motson. Villa. And still Ricky Villa. What a fantastic run. He scored. Amazing goal. The only Spurs supporters you'll ever see in Ham. A Ricky scored a real Brahma in the cup for Tottenham. <laughs> all together now. Snuka Lupi, that's all we. We're all Snuka Lupi. Well, thanks very much to, uh, to Joe and to Parker no. and, of course, to no. Phil and to Damon. Thank you very much for coming in. It's been great, really. Yeah, well, next, week's guest, next week's guest, the Colin Stagg and Mr Ed. Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Before you go, I've got a present. Oh, yeah. yeah. What is it? Well, um... Oh, it's someone's pants. <laughs> well, no, they're not anyone's pants. Were they thrown at you? No. Oh, oh, they're, they're, they're Chelsea knickers. Oh, they're Chelsea pants. Can yeah. we see them? Can we see them? Yeah. Close up on them. There you go. They say, um, I've nice. scored at Stamford Bridge <laughs> on them. And uh, clearly not Paul Furlong's pants then. <laughs> so they'll be going down pretty soon, I would have thought. Oh, dear, was that the doorbell? I think it was. I better get it. Might be Colin, come early. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. How All right, Frank. All right, mate. Nice to, to see you. Nice right. to see you. <laughs> Bit topical with the old Oscars and everything, but it's a lovely, yeah, lovely outfit. Did yeah. you come on the bus? I have, yeah, yeah. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Now, I don't know if you know, Jeff, Jeff was my hero when I was a kid. He's a big star for uh, West Bromwich Albion. Do you still watch uh, West Brom? Oh, yes. I go old man away. <laughs> You know we belong together You and I forever and ever No matter where you are You're my guiding star And from the very first moment I saw you I've never felt such emotion 